What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing EU4 with the MNT 2.0 mod installed as Tuscany. You know what? I haven't commented on, like, the beautiful gray color we are now. I like this. It's blue-gray, um, as opposed to brown. I had a long run of browns. Um, anyways, we just ticked over January of 1490. I'm kind of waiting for the Shadow Kingdom event to fire to see how that works, to see what happens, because I am currently the Holy Roman Emperor. Which means I do control, the Empire does control part of Northern Italy, but not all of it. So I'd like to see what happens. If it doesn't happen, because I don't think I, like, even when I became Emperor like five years ago, I don't think I had enough time to conquer, like, all of Milan and Trent and Venice and all that kind of stuff to keep them in the Empire. Um, so I'd kind of like to see what happens when it does I have a free diplomat here and a dude who is targeting allies that just went to Hungary. Okay. Still making a solid amount. Uh, ecclesiastical writings. I think I'm going to continue just congratulating him for his work. Poland just vassalized an erect elector. Erector. Uh, yeah, we can cut off relations with Naples. Who did Poland vassalize? Halic Volhynia? Are they a elector? Trier, Saxony, Ottingen, Mainz, Cologne, Brandenburg, and Bohemia. Did you vassalize Bohemia? You're a per personal union of Bohemia. Gotcha. News of a holy war in Bohemia. We should honestly get the Reformation firing here decently soon. So I could declare war on Poland if I wanted to. For Imperial Ban or Liberate Elector. I would have to fight... Lithuania, Bohemia, and Swindika. Or I can kind of just let the Holy Roman Empire fall apart. Bohemia has been placed under interdict. Cut off relations with them. Their personal union anyway. Yeah. Just literally will not let me demand unlawful territory. Because there are a lot of people who would say yes. Could still get another alliance. I really don't know who I want. I mean, France would not be bad, but they're rivaled to Castile. Ecclesiastical jurisdiction. During the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church policed itself with its own independent laws and courts. Ecclesiastical courts tended to be more lenient than secular ones. Crimes that normally resulted in the execution of the guilty, such as sodomy or bestiality, resulted in sentences of pilgrimage or public confession instead. Over time, anyone who could claim clerical status in any way, such as universal st university students, who were technically clergy, asked to be tried in ecclesiastical court. While perfectly legal, it was not popular with the public if a heinous crime was punished, punished lightly, nor with rulers if they could not execute a troublesome opponent. At times, the emperor would become personally involved in a case to ensure that the accused did not receive a church trial. Religious leaders protested when this happened, but were largely imp impotent to do anything. Um, submit to church authority? Or sentence them under secular law? I don't care about the papal state liking me. We do get religious scandal for a year. Or anti-clericalism for two years. Secular law. Alright, I am currently focusing military points. Yes, yes. And I only have two more left to go in naval ideas. And we have four admin techs to go before we get the next idea group. But we're building. We're building into something. Let's go ahead and start. Speaking of building, let's start building up a spy network here. We're already building up a spy network here. Go ahead and claim Parma. Local pretender rises. 
Chameleon Cardinal dies. And uh, I could still claim their throne if I wanted to, right? Yes. Age 5 heir with a weak claim. Let me see what the Shadow Kingdom looks like before I do that. Start building a spy network there, though. Because, I mean, personal union over Hungary would be great. Exurs, Exurge Domine. The Pope has sent us copies of a papal bull and ordered our bishops to post it in public. This is nothing new, but the reaction is. Supporters of the Gascon monk who posted the 95 Thesis recently have become tearing the bull down and even attacking the priests who post it. Uh, the bull, named after its opening phrase, Arise, O Lord, Exurge Domine, uh, announces that the 95 Theses are in fact heresy and gives its author 60 days to recant or face excommunication from the church. Until now, the monk had claimed to be trying to reform the church from within. Now, however, it leaves him with a stark choice. Abandon his beliefs or his church. Which way will he and his followers decide? The riots so far suggest the answer. Do not in intervene in ecclesiastical matters or send soldiers to protect the priests. Um, you know what? I'm down to not be Catholic anymore, so... Because that would allow me to get Rome. Dang, our autonomy is great here. Truce with Genoa and Romini has just expired. I could just go to war with Romini real quick. Take this and this. Enrique has died. They get a 414 now, as opposed to Enrique, so I'm sure they're real sad about that. Is it seriously? Is it 1492? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. Is me being the emperor keeping it from going? I don't know. Royal marriage from Padua. Well, you know what? I guess I should probably just start improving with electors. That should be a option here. Just improve with electors. Um, Royal marriage from Castile I will accept. Um, come back from here probably come back from here. I don't really need a claim there. I'm capped on dip. Can't accept them. Nine years early on Diplotech, anyone? I could abandon an idea group to take a new one. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we're going uh, nine years early. Can almost take it, take the next one 19 years early. Catholic faith grows. Theodoro is now Catholic. Um, okay. We have one authority. Prove here and prove here. Eighty four princes, we need eighty to keep it just afloat. No, not taking a royal marriage offer from Ramini. Do I have a claim on Ramini? I don't think I do. I need to do that. do that. Forty-six provinces in the Empire under the control of non-member states. 
So France is really the problem. <laughs> all this, and all this, and even all this from Hungary. I do have the right amount of free cities, right? 12? I don't know if I can make any more. He's slowly taking up, but not too fast. Is Rouen my only rifle right now? Yep. Yes, it is. Uh, council site? Sure. Give it to Trent. Give him one prestige. See if I care. Greater Noble's anger subsides. Thank God. As soon as I can, I need to offer them favors. Yearly Navy tradition to decay and naval tradition from battles plus 100%. And one more, and we get trade efficiency, which is nice. Almost 1500, almost to the 16th century. Religious scandal has expired. That'll allow that to take up a little bit faster. Still debating on if I just want to claim the throne here. I mean, it's a really good opportunity. <laughs> they don't have any real big allies. I think it said that Venice would come into that war. Council of v Vicenda begins. Um, I don't really care. Unhappiness among the clergy. Am I actually gaining people influence at all? No. I'm also not losing it, but let's take that. Keep the prestige high. Shortage of missionaries expired. Twelve thousand troops. I have fifteen thousand. I actually have room to build more. Room to build a lot more now because I'm the emperor. Sixteen and four for now. I think. Let's build up to that. Two of a kind. No other consort is, is as brave as Giosetta. Military tactics and organization have always been of interest to her. In addition to her daily sword practice, she spends many hours each day studying the art of war. During the last few months, she has become better acquainted with one of our most respected commandants, and, and, and he, in turn, has taken our consort under his wing, teaching Giosetta everything she needs to know. Now consort Giosetta has asked to make the commandant an offer, claiming that he would make a much better advisor than Commandant Giancarlo Vecchetti we currently employ. Um... A two skill discipline guy, or we can gain 50 mil. He would be 50% cheaper to employ, but it would probably be double what we're paying this guy still. Let's just gain the 50 military power. Short term gain for sure, but. Now everyone other than Saxony is voting for us because they're voting for themselves. Alright, 
I'm gonna go ahead and claim the throne. Alliance breaking with Hungary. That is fine. Twenty fourth of April, I can see. Yeah, break the alliance. a truce with them for probably five years. Yep. Now I should really look into getting another ally. Castile would join in, Venice would not currently. We will lose like one stab when we declare this because we have a uh, have a royal marriage, but that's kind of the point. Let's improve with the Ottomans right quick. Need forty. Church reforms. Over the centuries, the Catholic Church has faced many issues never dreamt of by the Apostles. When the gr issues grew pressing enough, the bishops of the Church would meet with the Pope to debate the matter. After de deciding on a course of action, the Church would disseminate the new doctrine throughout the Church. The nobility often saw bishoprics as sin sinecures for their landed son landless sons rather than actual professions, and would secure a bishopric for their sons to ensure he had an income. Wealthy families sometimes paid t for two or more benefices for the same man, often leagues apart. This helped raise their standard of living, but of course no one man could live in two places at the same time. In many cases, they appointed a salaried replacement who was simply not up to the duties required. Despite frequent condemnation of this practice, it was only in 1492 that strict rules against pluralism were put into place. This will significantly cut down on absenteeism events. Well, the church has been made clear. Um, okay. I maybe it should get the al alliance with France now. Yes, it would piss off Castile. So would the Turks. And Castile's just so far away. But if I could get Castile called into this hung Hungarian war, that would help. Alright, we're up to 20k standing army now. Yeah, cannons aren't that great yet, right? Point two fire damage. Support for reform. Day after day, support for the reform of the Catholic Church grows in Tuscany. The inns and fields and even churches, Tuscan Catholics are begin, beginning to openly express their support for the author of the 95 Theses and his criticism of the Church. With evidence of corruption abounding in the Church, the monks' idea that all beliefs should be found in Holy Scripture was seductively simple. With the recent translation of the Bible, ordinary Catholics could see that some of the most controversial beliefs in, the Christ in Christianity had no basis in Scripture, but neither did many beloved ones. Even the authority of the Pope himself stood on shaking ground, shaky ground when faced with such scrutiny, an intriguing thought to some rulers. Despite the excommunication of the monk, his message remains persuasive. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and try to get the, uh, whatchamacallit. Reformation. Alright. Please don't piss off Castile too much. wait until the 2nd of December to offer a royal marriage to them, because they're not offering it to me. Great! Music is once again not playing. Mm -hmm. 
well. Edict of Worms. This is a historic day for Christian Christendom. Members of the three estates from across France assembled at the estate, estates general at Worms. They watched solemnly as 25 books were collected from in front of the duke. Lords and bishops from across Aquitaine arrived at the assembly, assembly of Worms. They watched solemnly as 25 books were collected in front of the duke. Turning to their author, a Gascon monk from Labrit, the Roman prelate prosecuting his case demanded to know if he would recant them. In response, the monk admonished the duke, telling him not to condemn the word of God. The prelate demanded whether he rejected the authority of the church council, which had declared his works heresy, and the monk replied simply, Here I stand, I cannot do otherwise. God help me. Amen. He is now one of he is now undiably, undi undeniably an unrepentant her heretic, and the pen penalty for that is death, for him and for those who follow him. The duke then announced the Edict of Worms. The heretic monk was sentenced to death and then burned at the stake, silencing his heresy at last. Debate his ideas openly, openly, or ban his writing from from our lands. Debate his ideas openly. We are siding against the church and the Reformation. Which probably hurts our uh, hurts our case for becoming emperor again, seeing as how uh, it's a Catholic empire. We get Protestant sympathies. Um. We had a stability drop. Uh, was it from this? Probably. When news from Worms, when news arrives from Worms, shock, shockwaves begin to spread through the people. The monk from Labyrinth, unrepentant to the end, had been burned at the stake with all his words. The execution was meant to put an end to his heresy, but some, but to some, it was beginning. While faithful Catholics celebrated the result, supporters of the monk gathered in quiet places to whisper to each other, realizing, at last, that the Roman Church would not reform itself from within. They were resolved to raise arms against it instead whatever whatever hope had existed for peace it ended what would come next was not yet clear wait and see get a bunch of unrest up to 10 percent of the pro population will be converted to pro protestantism and 10 percent will be converted to reformed round up the agitators 10 percent to reformed blame the church 10 percent to protestantism wait and see i guess Looming disaster. Peasants war. Oh yeah, because we're at negative one stability. We're close-ish to 50% manpower, though. And we're... We should, honestly, get our stab back up, like, next month. Seeing as how we have, like, 130 stability points. Maybe the next time we get stability? I don't know. I don't know. I can take Appen Tech seven years early. Although that may end up happening anyway. So I can only buy down inflation so many times. Truce until 1497 here. Um, improve with France. Probably won't get favors. Eh, favor every one year. Yeah, there's our stability back. You're you're mad, but you're not too mad. Um, I should be able to claim her mini now. That keeps the Peasants' War from taking up anymore. So, a couple places have gone full-on Protestant. Now you wouldn't accept an alliance, and plus you're you're rivaled to Castile, or Castile's rivaled to you. One of the two. Alright, the Bishop of Marca Grosetena, Grosetena. Catholic bishops received a benefice grant of land in return for services rendered to their community. Bishops were ex expected to oversee the religious orders of the church and its dio uh, diocese, root out corruption, advise local nobles, pass judgments on ecclesiastical crimes, and appoint new priests to parishes. A, a particularly competent bishop was, was a blessing for a ruler whose realm was more stable and efficient as a result. Promote peace and order? 
or take an interest in his career. Let's just promote peace and order. Divided Reformation. Even as, even as the Catholic Church attempted to snap, stamp out her heresy, the reformers began to fight amongst themselves. Although they were all in agreement that the church needed reforms to combat corruption and, and apostasy, they had differing ideas about what that meant. For example, all agreed that the church had become greedy, but what should the church destroy? But should the church destroy its artwork and icons? Which sacraments were sacred and which were mere traditions? And what was the Eucharist itself? And was this Eucharist itself meant to be symbolic or was it truly the blood and body of Christ? These questions divided early reformers. Try to keep order or encourage all voices to be heard. I can't convert, can I? I can convert to duelist or ca uh, calixene. The question is, do I want to be reformed or Protestant? This gives me stability points, which I kind of need. So let's do that. We'll just see see which way the, the wind blows, you know? Probably make another claim here as well. Maybe on Pavia? Nope, need 80 to do that. There's my last naval idea, which will get us trade efficiency. And that will allow us to do exploration. Which should be fun. I should do something with this other dude. Um, prove with allies for now, if you can. Still currently would be the Emperor if we died. He is only 39, though. You're not doing anything. Let me see just one thing. I know I just keep looking at places to declare war. Yeah, it won't let me declare that, re that reconquest war. Which is weird to me. Four more years. Let's probably. I mean, listen. If we get all of this under us, that's big time, right? Like that's that's just huge. Then I become not unstoppable, but like pretty darn powerful. I do have to keep asking for military access through Gorzia, unless I have just hungry conquer him. Uh, corruption is still ticking down. Agent was discovered in Romini. Did I get the claim on them? Yes. So we can go ahead and come back from there. I could do a quick war against Romini and Genoa, but I think I want to save my manpower. And I am capped on admin again. I will... Let's pay down inflation once. Just for fun, I guess. Goose has been placed under interdict. Well, uh, um, I went a little bit longer than my normal episode length, but it's fine. We're going to go ahead and call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. I mean, like, I have to go for hungry, right? I have no choice. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.